Someone on the roof. Oh no, with a handgun. He's just killed me with a handgun from the roof. Delta again, Delta. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Gaz here, and just like that, I'm back. I know, I know, it's been a fair few months, and I apologise for not posting sooner. I have been playing, just not uploading content, after the uh, unfortunate wrist break. Anyway, back now, with plenty of uh, great content to come. What better place to start then? Back with uh, Rebirth Island, and that's got to be my uh, favourite game mode at the moment. Although, when a little runt does that, perhaps not. <laughs> and that then brings us on to the uh, theme of today's video, cheating. Unfortunately, clearly it's still a huge problem in Warzone and Rebirth Island is no exception. You could even say it's getting so bad that it's at uh, crisis level. When we see um, tweets from, uh, say, Raven Software banning over 30,000 malicious accounts, bringing that to half a million accounts banned in Warzone in total, we can see the magnitude of the problem. So, why is it getting worse? Well, basically, there is now a very sophisticated and lucrative market for hacks and cheats. There are so many resources for cheaters to acquire cheats from, including Discord, forums and websites um, that sell and support uh, cheats on an ongoing basis. There are even sites with um, a, a subscription service uh, which allows you to pay a monthly fee so that um, the uh, cheats and hacks are continually um, updated uh, to um, outpace any anti-cheat in real time. So what do these uh, cheats entail then uh, you might ask? Well, they can range from uh, Intel-based mods like Classic Wall Hacks, ESP hacks highlighting good loot, and uh, Radar Minimap hacks to target snapping or heat-seeking aimbots. There are even uh, mods that are being targeted specifically for streamers and tournament players. Uh, for example, there's a type of aimbot referred to as a silent aim. Uh, this won't fix your crosshairs completely, but the bullets themselves will seek the target anyway, making it less suspicious for viewers. There are even tools being provided to circumnavigate punishment, um, certainly for serial cheaters, uh, so for example uh, hardware bans uh, to prevent uh, repeat cheaters, they, they can basically um, uh, spoof or uh, pose as another hardware device thus getting around any ban. So what can be done about it then? Well Activision have uh, just released a new uh, anti-cheat initiative called uh, Rick Ricochet. Um, and it's basically a multi-faceted approach to combat cheating, uh, featuring new server-side tools which monitor analytics to identify cheating, enhanced investigation processes to stamp out cheaters, updates to strengthen account security, and more. So I'm just going to read this through from the um, website. It says, Ricochet Anti-Cheat's back-end anti-cheat security features were launched alongside Call of Duty Vanguard and later this year with the Pacific update coming to Call of Duty Warzone. In addition to server enhancements coming with Ricochet, Anti-Cheat is the launch of a new PC kernel level, level driver developed internally for the Call of Duty franchise and launching first for Call of Duty Warzone. This driver will assist in the identification of cheaters, reinforcing and strengthening the overall server security. The kernel level driver launches alongside the Pacific update for Warzone later this year. While the kernel driver, which is only part of the Ricochet anti-cheat, will release to PC, by extension, console players playing via crossplay against players on PC will also stand to benefit. The kernel level driver will subsequently release for Call of Duty Vanguard at a later date. Whereas then I'm hoping that this is going to uh, obviously substantially reduce the number of um, cheaters. Um, we only got to look at EA and, and Riot um, that are already requiring kernel level access to uh, drivers to play their games like Apex Legends and Valorant. Um, and even then we see that there's still uh, invasive measures and the cheating still persists so um, it will be really uh, interesting to see how this uh, pans out and um, what other 
features uh, Ricochet is really going to uh, help with. Moving back to the uh, video itself then, we've got a clear example here of uh, a cheetah in action uh, by the name of uh, Mercenario uh, flying under the Italian flag and I, I, uh, I, I uh, as I say, uh, <laughs> after our Euro uh, defeat to the Italians, uh, I'm not going to say anything more on that, um, but uh, we can clearly see that uh, they're cheating and, and I've actually uh, reported um, this uh, squad um, uh, for what they're doing. I mean, it's not just one guy, it's the entire squad of um, tri the trio there that have been cheating. Um, I've tried to um, spectate uh, each one in turn just to give you an idea of, of, of how they're doing it, but it looks like they're using an aimbot, um, as I say, and uh, it really is blatant, you know, and, and absolutely disgusting. I guess I fail to understand really why why cheat, you know, what what, what does it give you, you know, what's the benefit from it, you know, um, I'd be really interested to uh, understand, you know, from you guys if, if, you, if you've cheated at all, um, why you would do it, you know, what your thoughts are on the, the whole uh, cheating um, game, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below, uh, really interested to hear. I mean, what concerns me uh, moving forward, I guess, is that perhaps there's just too many cheat developers uh, for even a company as large as, say, Activision to uh, take down every single one. Um, perhaps it's a uh, you know, harsh reality we all face, um, but will online gaming um, be able to face up to this sort of uh, existential threat? Uh, that remains to be seen. I mean, will honest players put up with it? Uh, will they leave? Will they turn into cheats themselves? Um, we just don't know, I guess. Um, but I, I can't see this uh, going away anytime soon. Uh, and I don't think it's a simple problem to fix. So, yeah, it is a worry. Um, and uh, I do hope that uh, Ricochet, for example, does uh, come up with the, uh, with the goods and certainly reduces this by... Uh, Quite a considerable margin. A big shout out then to uh, Fire Down Below who uh, participated in this uh, video and highlighted straight off the bat uh, that these guys were uh, cheating and uh, for his uh, vocal contribution. Sadly, the uh, cheaters went on to uh, win this particular game. But anyway, thanks for watching and overdosing on Gaz. I'll see you next time, or maybe even in game.